Okay guys, let's go ahead and try and draft the mid-depth cowl from your book on page 214. Um, okay, let's see here. So they want us to use the basic sloper. You can use the one I provided, you can use your own, whatever you like. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete the sleeves because um, this particular design is sleeveless, so we don't need it. Okay, and then they say mark A between the center front neck and the bust level. Um, I guess before I do that, I need to unfold my pattern. So I'm gonna right click. I believe I probably just have to remove the linked editing. Maybe I don't have to do that. Maybe I could have skipped that. And then I'm gonna switch to the letter Z, which is our little edit tool. Um, and I'm just gonna click and drag um, over half of the anchor points, leaving the center front anchor points and hit delete. We have a nice straight line. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, so they want us to just mark, oh, actually we're supposed to do a, a slash line right here. So I think for my slash line, maybe I'll just do um, an internal line. So I'll hit the letter G, click right there. I'm gonna hold shift. I just click right there and hit return. Um, okay. And then they want a halfway point here. Now, I really think where you put the letter A, I kind of think that controls a little bit how low your net goes. So, I mean, we could do, um, you know, a test on this, but what if I put like A halfway? Does that mean that's how low my cowl is going to go? Like, what if A was down lower? Would my cowl go lower? I don't really know. I've never tried it, but in clothes, it's probably not too much work to try if anybody else wants to give it a shot and see. But if we're gonna follow the book, I guess we could go ahead and do that. So um, I'm gonna actually right click this line and I'm going to extend trim and add a point to the pattern outline. Cause if there's a point, then all I have to do is click this line and then I can right click and I can split it in half. So I don't have to like worry about doing math or anything like that. Okay, so I guess that's letter A. Now, for those of you guys that wanna work slower than me, um, you can use that type tool and like type in this stuff, it might make it a little bit easier for you guys to just see like what's going on. Um, I don't know if I'll do that for all of them, but I just wanna make sure you guys know about that tool. Okay, um, let's see here, mark A, da, da, da. mark B at mid shoulder and draw a line to A. Okay, hmm, what I kinda want to do is I kinda want my B to be um, the same length as this line. So this is two and a half inches. So I kind of want to put B also two and a half inches and then later I'll just get rid of that. I think it'll just be easier. I don't have to like rotate the dart or anything. So that's what I'm gonna do. Oh wait, or, yeah, here. So I'm gonna right click, whoopsies. I'm in the Z tool and I, oh, just kidding. You know what I'm gonna, oh, I could have done split. Yeah, right click, split, I guess. Um, line number one, yellow. Yes, I want the yellow line to be 2.5 inches. And I'll say, okay. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I guess I'm kind of going off the book a little bit because that is a little bit longer, but I don't care. I'm just going to try it. Okay, so they want us to do a slash line there, and then they also want us to do a slash line in the middle here. So maybe I'll go ahead and split this guy in half and then I'm gonna draw my three slash lines maybe I'll do another split here okay so I'll hit the letter G and I'm gonna connect the dots if you will so this they in the book they just have a straight line I hit return to get out of that this one it's kind of curved so I'm just gonna hold down command and kind of click in the middle and then go grab that other point and hit return Maybe that was too curved. Um, I could hit the letter C and kind of bring it in if I thought it was too curved. I'm gonna hit G again. I'm gonna grab this corner and come down to this point. If I wanna curve it, again, I'll hold Command. I'm on a Mac, I think it's Alt if you're on a PC. And I'll hit Return. Okay. Okay, so I guess we are ready to slash and spread. Um, Okie dokie. So, I mean, we can actually cut the pattern and rotate it. That's one way. Um, of course, Chloe does have like a slash and spread tool. It's a fullness tool. Maybe that's another way of doing it. I did this in the last video I made. So I think this time I'm gonna try the rotating way just to show you guys different ways to move patterns around. 
Okay, so let's see here. I guess I am going to, I think what I wanna do is select each line and then I'm gonna cut. Now, if it doesn't cut, it might be because I need to like extend and trim to pattern outline. So I usually always just do this. But what if I didn't do it? Let's see if it works. Oh, it did work. Okay, so I don't have to do it this time. Okay, so this first one, I'm gonna switch to letter A. They don't even want it. They're like, throw it away, get rid of it. Okay, so I think the first thing that we slash and spread is gonna be um, this one right here at the bust level. So it's gonna bring in our dart a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna zoom in, pan a bit, and then I'm gonna grab this piece and I'm gonna kind of basically put it back where it was. And then I'm gonna double click this little rotator pivot point. And when I do that, I can click and drag and say, I want the pivot point to be right there. Then I can go up at the top and I can rotate it where I want it. They don't really say how much, I'm just kind of eyeballing it. Um, okay, let's see here. Maybe, so I guess what I'll do is, what I probably should have done, I'm gonna hit edit undo actually. I think I probably should have connected all the pieces. So let's just connect them all back. I bet you there's probably, when it cut it, there's probably some setting to tell it not to space it. <laughs> but I don't know what that setting is yet and I don't, care to figure it out right now um, <laughs> oops. Okay. Let me try this again there it goes okay this is how the pattern was perfect so now I can select all three of these double click our pivot point to move it that way I'm rotating all three at the same time okay um, now what I want to do is maybe move the pivot point, um, I guess to right here. Oops, come here little guy. Click, click. Oh dearie. And actually I only want to move A, so I'm going to deselect. So I'm going to pick just A and I'm going to grab, grab this little pivot point, click, click. Let's see here. My double clicking is failing me. Let me try again. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Okay, that's my new pivot point. And I'm gonna open up this guy. He wants it open until it's straight, but I know I also need to rotate this one. So maybe I should have rotated that other one first. Sorry guys. Okay, I'm gonna move you here and I'm gonna grab you. Oh. I'm going to move the pivot point again. Click, 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 click. Let me zoom in. Click, click. <laughs> ah, click, 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 click. Oh dear. I've never had trouble activating it before. That's weird. I'm going to try it again. There it goes. Okay. Um, okay, so let's rotate this guy a little bit. I guess what's neat about this is that you're changing the angle of um, the shoulder. Ooh, and we rotate it. I guess my line was cut a little funny. That's okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna rotate this last one. Click, click. And bring this guy straight. Okay. And then they say we can cut off the pieces that are crossing the center front. We don't really need them. Unfold it and give it a go. So we need to make this one whole pattern piece. What is the easiest way to do it? I don't know. Again, there's more than one way. So, um, hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, let's see here. Um, I kind of want to draw another pattern piece underneath it and then I guess trace it. I don't know, a student kind of showed me another way to like merge pieces together, but I'm gonna have to ask him again how he did that because I've already forgot. <laughs> so I'm just gonna draw this pattern piece here. And let's see here. Okay, and then now I'm gonna use the trace tool. Right click, 
traces pattern. Oh no, it didn't work this time. Let's see here, what is the problem? Hmm, what if I put this here and I add a point and I move this right here? Hmm, I wonder if this will work. Try it again. Okay, it seems to like that better. So the bad part of tracing it is that all my sewing is gone and my arrangement points and everything. So I'm gonna have to like re-sew this thing. But anyways, time to clean it up a little bit. Um, okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the letter Z and I'm gonna bring this out a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of this point. We want this to be a straight center front line. Um, this point can change to a curve that's on the next page of your book too. Let's kind of smooth that out. I'm going to the letter C. It's a little too curvy for my taste. Um, I think that's basically all the cleaning we had to do. Um, okay, so I do need to sew this guy together to the skirt. I'm going to switch to um, the free sewing tool. So the bottom waist. Okay, um, I'm gonna sew the shoulder. I'll sew the side seam. Okay, and then I'm gonna also unfold this guy, so letter Z. Select this line, right click, unfold with our symmetric editing with sewing. Cool. Um, let's see here. The back, we have to kind of redesign this. So I guess I could get rid of this point. I can get rid of this point. I can get rid of this point. And then I guess I can curve this out a little bit. Hit the letter C and just kind of clean that up a little bit. Um, okay, so now I have to arrange it on my 3D model. Oh, you know what, before I do that, we also do need to change our grain line right now. Our grain line is going up and down. To view your grain line, make sure the grain line tool is um, blue, it's on. So, um, so to change the grain line, it's under edit texture tool. So here we go, it's this guy with the little checker board. And then, um, I think you just double click it, yeah. And then you can get that rotate tool. If you hold shift, it kind of snaps to a 45, which is nice. Okay, so hopefully that helps. Um, I'm gonna get out of that tool and I'm ready for my arrangement points. Okay, let's find it. Where are you? There it is. Okay, turn on arrangement points. I'm gonna hit the number two. Uh, I guess that looks pretty good. And simulate by holding the space bar or clicking it one time. Okay, oh, we didn't sew our uh, darts together. Simulate one more time. Okay. So, ooh, something's wrong with the skirt I just noticed. Oh, interesting. Okay, let's come back here. Let's look at our sewing. Okay, so, huh. Oh, oh no, our, you know what, our M to N didn't quite work the way I thought it did. It's kind of cute in a weird way. I'm inspired. Okay, let's try this one more time. Free sewing. So I'm gonna say U to U. Should click U, U. Oh, you know what it is? Not free sewing. I need to do the end to end. Whoops. Click, click, return. Click, 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 return. Okay, now we're talking. I'm gonna hit the space bar. That's better. Okay, so obviously this muslin fabric, it's a little stiff. <laughs> wow, it just flies back up. So what I wanna do is change my fabric 
um, to something that has more drapes. So I'm going to go to the library fabric. Um, let's do the silk duchess. So like, yeah, when you look, let's see, give me that preview again. No, not that. Ah, trying to get the preview for the duchess satin. Yeah. Look how it drapes. That's probably, we probably want something like that for this notebook sample. So I'm just going to put it on the front one. I'm going to let everyone else just stay as muslin. Okay, so that's definitely helping. Um, next thing I want to do is probably change the particle distance, perhaps, from 20. Um, so let me make sure that pattern's selected. Here we go, particle distance. What if we drop it to 5? Okay. And simulate it. Oh, I'm going to get rid of the library. Okay. Uh, okay. Kind of pulling it. And it's a little slower since I did change the particle distance on this guy to five. It's really slow. Come here. Okay, come here. Come here. Okay, I'm just going to hold it. I'm going to let it figure itself out. It's kind of like bouncing around. It needs to calm down. I'm going to put number two. Okay, so I mean, it's a cowl neck. Now I just gotta play with it. Um, you know, it's definitely not as low as the illustration. So I guess that's something, again, I could play with. I mean, the book told us to go, um, you know, a certain spot. And I really, th I wanna, I wish we kind of made it lower, to be honest with you. Um, what I kind of want to try just for fun is a slash and spread in the middle. I wonder if that would do anything. I'm going to pick this guy. Um, click here to here. Oops, come down. Oh, maybe it won't work because it's on the fold. Yeah, it won't. okay, never mind. Let me get out of this. I'm going to hit the letter A, and I guess I will um, remove linked editing. Okay. Now let's try. Click, click. And I'm going to click on the line to kind of open up. Oh, wrong direction. <laughs> let's try that again. Start from the bottom. Click, click. And then I'll click on the line. Is this going to make it drop more by giving it more fabric in the middle? Question mark. Let's find out. Whoosh. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go ahead and simulate. I'm going to yank her down too. Come here. And then if I wanted, I could also maybe reshape the armholes. But that's okay. We're kind of focusing on the cowl next. So I don't want to get too carried away. That definitely gave her a lot more fabric. What would happen if I just pull it out a little bit like this? And then I just waited. I think my main concern of um, adding the fullness is that I'm also adding fullness from the space between her armholes, you know? Um, is that okay? There's also like a little bit of fullness, you know, in between the bust darts. So is it gonna make it a little bit of a bigger fit? Is that gonna be a problem? Um, if it is, would I need to take it in at the side seam possibly? I don't know. Oh, don't snap, come here. Okay, you come. <laughs> And I think what I want to do is actually come down. I'm like forcing the drape. 
Okay. Unit number two. Oh, jeez. No. Hold on. Plan Z. Mm, I don't think that was any help. Okay. Grab four. Mm. Come down. It was so good. I don't know what I did. Okay. Stay right there. Perhaps I should change it back to a 20 particle distance. If I'm gonna play around with it the way I am right now, that might make my life a little bit easier. Okay, let's hit number two. Okay, so yeah, it did kind of add more fullness down here, like around the belly. So, hmm, should I, I mean, is that going to be weird if I were to take it in at the side seam? Let's find out. How much did I take that in? I mean, I guess I could measure it. Let's see here. Oh, this is for the avatar. This will work. Um, oops. What is that number? Okay, here we go. No. Okay, I'm just going to eyeball it actually. Maybe I'll smooth, use the smooth tool to kind of smooth this weird curve out. There we go. Oh, and then it's not linked, so I'll have to go in and clean that up. I'll probably have to delete half and then unfold it most likely. Um, okay, yes. Okay, so let's do that real quick. I need to add a point right here. Actually, why don't I take this point? Right click, add a perpendicular line, perpendicular from the x-axis, so it goes up. Okay, cool. And then I'm also gonna make sure that it adds a point to the pattern outline. That way I can just delete this half like that. And then I can unfold this guy, right click, Unfold, ooh, ah. hmm. I wanna make sure, I wanna make it symmetrical. Hmm. Oh, it can't be applied for some reason. Okay, let's maybe get rid of this shape. There we go. I guess it didn't like having an internal line on that same spot. Perhaps this thing should be curved. Oh gosh, our sewing. Okay, so let's go over to um, our particle distance and just make sure the pattern's selected. And let's change it back to 20 for the time being. Okay. Um, whoa, what did I just do? Okay, oh my gosh, I don't need that. Okay, forget it. Okay. Um, maybe I can replace this guy. Okay, and simulate. I'm gonna hit pause and let's go ahead and change it back to five. And simulate. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, that did not help with the extra fullness that we have. So definitely going to keep playing with the fit more here. I guess just wait and be patient and let it fall. It, it slowly, slowly is. So I'm just gonna let it sit, I don't know. It's hard, I'm a very impatient person. I'm gonna let go. Okay. Okay, maybe where I can get rid of some of the fullness as well is in this dart. Could close the dart a little bit. I wonder if that's actually where we should have slashed and spread instead of center front. Hmm. Cause I, the thing is, if I take out part of the waist, then my seams are gonna be different to my skirt. And the skirt seems like it fits okay, but it definitely seems big. And maybe it's because I'm mixing fabrics and that's why it's bigger. Let's see here. Oops, let me hit the letter Z. So it takes out some of the fullness. I mean, it's definitely a loose fit. I guess it just kind of depends like what you're looking for. I feel like I'm grabbing too much of the fabric. I'm trying to just grab one layer. There we go. That's what I wanted. And we'll just have to play with the cowl until it lays the way we want. At this point, I'm just having fun. I'm just kind of looking at all the drag lines and stuff and just playing around with this, some stuff. Alrighty, well, I'm excited to see how yours turns out. Um, yeah, cow next this week. <laughs> okay, looking forward to seeing what everybody shares. Reach out if you guys have questions and join the discussion. I can't wait to see everybody's comments and um, what they think of this guy.